So somebody on Facebook made a post. Where was it? Somebody said, yes, I'm vegan. Yes, I eat meat. We exist. And then they post underneath it like, I'm an atheist. Yes, I believe in God. Yes, we exist. I'm a virgin. Yes, I have sex. Yes, we exist. Yes, I'm no, no, I'm yes. We know yes. <laughs> so it's like, I started thinking about this. Like, could you be a vegan and still eat meat? Like, uh, you know, they have those crabs that you can pull the crab claws off and they'll grow back. So you don't have to kill the crab. Or you can cut a lizard's tail off and you can grow, it grows back. So you can eat meat without killing animals. But then I looked up the vegan definition and it's like, no animal products at all so I guess not really but then I thought about cultured lab grown meat and that led me to this um, Google image search uh, so this isn't about that this isn't about veganism or meat at all this is about people who do stock photography because <laughs> this is like I started looking at these pictures and I'm like this is fake as fuck right this one here, it kind of looks a little believable because it's like there's some some fat in there that's like, uh, what do you call it? It's kind of embedded in the meat. So it, it kind of looks like a maybe something they've grown in a vat. And over here they got like a ham steak in the side of this one, right? Well, like, look at this piece of shit. This is just like, that's meat you got at the damn store, dude. It's been through a grinder. It's all ground up. It's got the little, it's, that's not grown in a vat or a petri dish didn't come out that way what are you talking about that's like ground beef that somebody's put through a meat grinder so you can picture these people they have the job of photographing food or photographing anything for stock images like oh we got this story about people growing meat in petri dishes oh so we'll just take some petri dishes and we'll go over to the store buy some meat and cram it in there and make it look all nice and pretty and then that's gonna be our story and then every one of them are gonna have these blue latex gloves on but look at this one They've done the same thing. They got the ground meat in a petri dish, and then they photoshopped it and copied it. It's the exact same image. It's got this little curl at the top here. Every image is the exact same petri dish, and they just stacked them. This one, I mean, it looks like some really shitty sandy meat, so this could be like some petri dish meat that they've got processed. This one kind of looks believable, even though the marbling, that's what I was trying to think of. The fat is kind of marbled in there. So you think, how would you make laboratory meat? I know you take regular old amino acids and proteins and you kind of grow it through a, um, uh, a, a mesh structure. Uh, what do you call that? Uh, there's a way, I might be thinking of like carbon atoms or something where they make nanotubes or something. But this is kind of similar. I think. This one here looks probably real. Because this one's got like writing on it. It's got a date. It kind of looks like some kind of weird, I don't know if you can see this, I don't know, kind of looks like worms. So if you're making some kind of like uh, stem cell kind of a thing where your DNA is just multiplying and you're filling up a, a petri dish with it until it gets, that's not, that's just somebody cut off a strip of steak and they put it in a petri dish and then they pinched it with some tweezers. It's the same blue gloves as this one and this one. <laughs> and this one like these are all fake you can tell I used to see oh my god look at this that's a piece of <laughs> it's a piece of ham it's not real if that was grown in a vet why would it have striations of fat and tendon and stuff in it that kind of looks like it's round like it's been in a petri dish but how would they make it come out with fat and stuff in it the DNA process would be like it would be kind of be random, right? Because there's not, there's not a bone to make meat around. I think that's kind of how DNA works. It's, I don't really know how your body makes your muscles. What is this one? It's just like some cube steak they put in a petri dish, I and mean, it's all chopped up already. How are we supposed to believe this is real? Look at this. They've got a test tube and they cram some ham down in it. It's really good looking ham, but still. And this, it's not growing in a petri dish that way. So there used to be this video or something I saw on TV about like food photography, and it was really interesting how. What happens if we just Google that? Like if they would photograph like a bowl of cereal, they would use glue instead of real milk. This is all Asian food. Oh, this is because see, you used to be able to Google stuff, and then as things become popular, you can't Google stuff anymore. I had a really good example of this the other day. I remember like when Pink came out, Pink the singer, 
you couldn't search for like pink vaginas anymore. Like when you search the word pink before pink was popular, all you would get is porn. But after pink came out, all you get is the singer pink. So what was that other thing? I saw this on Twitch. It was so funny. A bowl of cornflakes. They would handpick each cornflake out and put them in a certain place. Or if you put like a lettuce and tomato on a burger and an onion, it has to be all just perfectly placed. And then you spritz it with some, some spray of water. Or maybe you wouldn't even use water. You'd use like glucose or something to make it like bind better and make it look like water. But like there's all these weird tricks with photography. But the meat thing was really weird. I guess if you're dumb enough, they assume people are dumb. They're just going to see this petri dish with some ground beef in it and they're just going to think it's real. Oh, is that game Control. There's a video game out now called Control. So if you want to look up any tips or strategies on this game Control, you look up video game Control and all you're going to get is like every video game that's ever existed because every video game in the world has controls. So how did you specifically search for the video game Control? Like normally you can use a boolean or whatever, but like something and then minus something else. Like video game control minus settings or minus WASTA keyboard? I don't know. What would you even put? How would you search for it? Control the game? All in quotation marks?